Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having an awesome day. And also I hope that you were at least a little bit excited for this video because I am personally beyond excited for this video. This video is going to be so good and I'm just really looking forward to it because this is an idea I've had for a while and I will have to explain what it is that I'm doing because it's really, really different. So vintage Turkish rugs are like a thing. They are very high end, very expensive, very old, but they honestly make a space. They can transform a space and often you really only see them on Instagram accounts or in architectural digest. Is that what that's called? You see it only in very high end stuff because the price is so, so, so expensive thousands of dollars. And when I was looking, I was like, wow, I can't, I'm, I can't get any of these. They're way too expensive. Like literally a thousand dollars for a little runner. But in that search, I realized that there are Turkish rugs that are 50 years old, 60 years old, up to a hundred years old that have been transformed and turned into pillows that you can use on your sofa, on your bed, whatever. They look so high end. And I actually realized that a lot of those designer homes actually had pillows like that that are literally made out of Turkish rugs and they are one of a kind, super unique, but the thing is they are still extremely expensive for pillows. However, could not help myself after looking and looking and looking, I decided to buy an assortment that are made out of very old, very expensive Turkish kilm rugs. And um, I just wanted to see what this is actually going to be like. We'll have to find out, are they gonna be good quality? Are they gonna look really old? Are they gonna have a smell? Cause they are actually rugs that are really old. Are they gonna look fabulous? And are they gonna work in this space that I have created here? We'll have to find out. I ordered several pillows and each pillow was quite expensive. And the place that I ordered it off of was actually Etsy from specific sellers that are actually in Turkey. Now, as a little twist to this, because I know you guys love when I bring my husband into videos, I am actually going to have him review these pillows with me after we kind of open them up and see what we're working with. Okay, so here's the deal. This is my husband and he is going to be an official co start in this video where he's going to give us his opinion on these super old Turkish rugs that are 50 to 100 years old that people stepped on for many many years that have been turned into pillows. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, the rugs. But they they're turned rugs. into pillows? They're turned into pillows now. And so for, I want your where? opinion. For you the know bed? just like here just wherever. Like the couch? Not the bed right? Listen they're high-end luxury. Did they clean them? Yeah. Anyway, so that's a little introduction. I'm gonna go off and open them and then we'll get his opinion for each one. You ready? Yeah, let's okay. do it. I think he's gonna be extremely skeptical, extremely over the fact that these were actually rugs and we're gonna use them as pillows. We'll just have to find out, I don't know, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to open up the first pillow. And also I do just wanna mention, these shipped from Turkey, the shipping was like $20 per pillow. However, they did arrive really fast, like in only a couple business days. I wasn't expecting that. Cause you know, sometimes you order things off Etsy and they take forever to come, not these. These came like in a week, so. First one is up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually personally scared about the fact that these were made out of a rug that people have probably stepped on for years. But hey, hey, hear me out. These are luxury, so hey. Well, this is wrapped nicely. They've actually like wrapped it in their little business stuff there. And this person is from Istanbul. Okay, so this is the first pillow that I got. And the one thing I can't get over is the fact that it literally looks like there is hair woven all through this pillowcase. Like this looks as though it could be my hair just woven through it. Let's see if I can get you to see it. Do you see that? It looks like hair and I'm wondering what that could be. Could it be like wool or something? It literally looks like hair. I am so confused. <laughs> The print is a little different than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting this to be more of like a peachy tone. I do like the overall shape and stuff of it, but like I am very confused by whatever this is that looks like hair. We'll have to find out if like all of them have that or not. And then also in terms of smell, that was one thing I was worried about. <laughs> I don't know that this smells the best. So, 
If I were to use this, I would definitely, definitely want to wash this again. All of these sellers said that they washed everything before making them into pillows. I think from far, like it definitely looks nice. This pillow was $75, $75. Do I think this is worth $75? I can't get over the hair look of it personally, but let's see what my husband thinks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody poke me. Don't look, don't look. Okay, are you ready? Okay, open your eyes. This is a rug? Yeah. Nice. What? <laughs> there's, a, there's hairs on them. <laughs> I don't, that was the first thing I noticed too when I opened it. It looks exactly like hair. Are these hairs? This is human hair. It's pokey. I was getting poked. <laughs> How's this pillow? I don't, to seven I don't up. like it. Why? I call it a hairy pillow. How would you rate this out of 10? Two. <laughs> Ruthless! Yo, I can't sit on this. It is kind of spiky. Okay, the next pillow. This one is like very well packaged. So they all kind of have those fibers and I'm wondering what they are. This is a beautifully textured design. I think the actual design is just beautiful. I think that it is like a really nice textured look and I think it is quite sweet, but this is rough, rough, rough. I wish I could explain to you how rough it is. It's almost like if you took jute and then you kind of trimmed it off or something, like this could scratch my hand. In terms of smell, This one kind of just smells like a rug or or like just fabric. Yeah, this is this one doesn't smell bad. The other one had like a stronger smell. This also does have a lot of like the fibers in general. So let's see if you can see that on saw on the side. Just a lot of those fibers. Now this pillow was $58. Kind of scratchy for $58. But I love the look of this. You can see it's like very textured. It looks really cool. It looks awesome in my opinion. It's just like, will I want to sit against this? That's the question mark. Let's see. I wonder if my husband will like this. I feel like he'll like the look of it just based on the masculine energy that this has. But I'm again, not sure about the feeling. I feel like I'll have something to say about that. Okay, wait, I want your opinion before you touch it. So can I look? Before you touch it. Don't touch it. Okay, okay you can look. Oh, that's cool. It's cool, right? Yeah, I like this one. I think it goes well with our couch. Right? Okay, now touch it. Oh, come on. <laughs> why are they even selling this? I don't know, it's so spiky. Like, why? Unless you just remove it once people sit on it. Okay, so I will mention, I got all the pillows specifically thinking, with my fingers crossed, that they could all match on my couch. So I'll show them at the end what they all look like together. So would you keep this? No. no? Okay, goodbye. Next pillow. Are all pillows, do all pillows feel like this? Not necessarily. You'll have to see. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one because seeing it, I already have in mind what this is. Do, 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 do. This is what I picture when I picture like a Turkish rug because this looks like a very heavily textured rug type material. You can tell this definitely does look vintage. It looks high end. This is stunning. The fabric and actual feel of it is quite soft. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. So maybe that's like something to keep in mind in terms of the type of material that this is. Okay, looking at, I just pulled up the little picture of this. I do think this looks more or less like the picture, but I do think I was expecting the colors just to be a little bit different. This pillow was $95, but I got a discount and I ended up actually spending $51. So I do think it's nice, especially for it being one of a kind. $51 is still expensive though. Now for the smell. This doesn't really have a smell. I feel like um, if I saw this at a store, I wouldn't think, oh, this has any kind of smell at all. I would still probably only feel the most comfortable once I had washed this. But I do think this is a really cool design. Let's see what my husband thinks. What should I do? Touch, look. Just look first and then touch. Ooh, this one's really good. I really like it. $95, but I only paid $55 or something like that. Okay, touch it. This feels better. It's still not like these. 
Well, that's velvet. This is still fine. But it's still fine, yeah. So what do you think? What do you rate this one? Can I step back? Yeah. Seven. Seven? What is your scale? What would ten to ten? What's this pillow? Seven, eight. This is rated higher than this? Well, it's so soft. You wouldn't know if you just sat against this. I guess just... this adds like more character. It adds more character. So therefore, it's still supposed seven. To look, <laughs> it's supposed to look better with character. You can't say that this is a seven and that that's a seven, eight. That is so rude. Come back into the frame. <laughs> I'm so offended. Why? So in conclusion, you would pick that over this. Well, maybe I need to see what other pillows go on with this. But so far, you're rating it. Seven and I think half. this one's beautiful. You're wrong. I have high standards. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's see the next one. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is interesting. Hair-like texture, I think, must just be the fibers of how it's woven because they all kind of have that. It's just in some of them you can't quite tell. Other than this one, all of the other ones have had that. So it must just be whatever it's woven with. I do think this is really cool. I wasn't expecting it to have some of the color shifts of um, pink and blue that are there. So if you look like here, there's, there's a speck of blue. There's other little specks throughout of like pink, blue, etc. But I'm not mad about it. I think the overall design is pretty, but it's pretty standard as well. Now in terms of the smell factor, mm, this one doesn't smell good. I would definitely have to wash this. I don't like the smell of that. <laughs> oh. Why did I smell that so closely? In terms of scratchiness, this is still a little scratchy, but not quite as scratchy as the other scratchy ones and not quite as soft as the nice softest one. But overall, it is pretty nice. It's pretty big. How much did I pay for this guy now that I'm seeing it and smelling it? It doesn't smell just like this, only when I put my face right up to it. This guy was one of the most affordable ones. So it was $38, but I got a discount. So it was $27, but still, I don't really like when things smell, so it shouldn't smell. But overall, I do like the design. I think it looks high end. That's the thing about all of these. They all have like a different look, especially in person. You just kind of get this different vibe to it um, and it shifts a little bit differently. So I can understand why these can be used in high end homes, but yeah, it's not that soft so let's see what my husband thinks will my husband like it probably not if he smells it time to look this is nice too this is 38 dollars i like it how unique do you think this is i think it's pretty unique i mean i don't go out looking for cushion covers okay lot. fine okay touch Nah. I also felt this one had like a slight smell of like must it's interesting when you came here mm -hmm. i went it smells musty right yeah. 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 So this one, what would you rate? Six. What? Five. Five. You rate this six and you rate the last one seven? Seven and a half. Ruthless. Let's get them all on a scale. The first one was like a two. Okay. The black one, I really like the look of it. I would actually rate it higher than this one. I would make five, black five, this one four. Wow, you just downgraded everything? Yeah, and then the other one, seven and a half. Okay, last one. All right, hopefully that one's a 10. Okay, now for the last package, I am very excited for this one because I think I know which one this is. It is a nice traditional Turkish design and I'm hoping this is going to be like the soft one. Same kind of style and vibe as the soft one. These rugs are all honestly beautiful. It's just about the feel of them. When you look at them, you do think they look more high end than like, you know, a, a typical pillow. Okay, cross your fingers for this last one. I'm hoping it's a win. It's dusty. We know I have dust allergies, that's not good. It is literally dusty on the inside. Gosh, I hope no one buys these and just uses them right away. Okay, so this is the last one and this is a pretty design. This goes very well with the other one that had like a similar type of fabric. I don't like the fact that it's dusty. I can almost like smell dust, but Smells like a mix of chemical and dust, almost like they did clean it, but also now it's dusty somehow. I don't know how. The design is beautiful though. This is a very unique kind of design. It looks pretty in my opinion, and I think this is just really high-end looking. 
I would never ever use this without washing it though. Let's see how much I paid for this guy. This pillow costs $95 for a unique one of a kind pillow that's made out of a vintage rug. Is that worth it? Maybe, especially after I wash it. Did I actually pay $95 though? No, I got a discount. So I ended up paying $55.75 for this guy. It is on the smaller side though, so kind of expensive for this size of pillow. In terms of feeling, it's totally fine. This, I wouldn't think anything was weird about this. I'm kind of like hesitant to touch it because I at least want to like hit it outside to get rid of some of the dust. But yeah, I think the colors are beautiful. I think it looks really nice. I am very excited to see what my husband thinks of this as well, especially when he hears some of the prices. I don't know how he's gonna feel about it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You can open up your eyes now. Nice. Like the pattern? Yeah. You like that it's like not symmetrical. Symmetrical, yeah. Yeah, I like it. What about when you touch it? It's Ooh. good. I would, I would rate this one the second. So what are you rating it number wise? Because some of your numbers aren't adding up. Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half? So what's that one? Seven and a half. So not a single one has been ten. Well, because of the feeling. You're so a tough crowd. I would have, I would okay, have rated. Your rating? Go. Shall I bring them all out and then I'll tell you Let's what? Okay, so I'll bring them all out. Okay, so here is the look of them kind of all styled together. I think of all of them, these four look pretty nice. This one is the only one that actually just looks different than what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting this salmon color. I was expecting it to be kind of like a peachy beige. Because of that, they don't really go. But my favorites are definitely that one, that one, and then the dark one. And those are the same ones that are my husband's favorites. Although I would probably rate them slightly higher than he did because he was rating them still low. <laughs> Okay, so trying out the vintage Turkish rugs turned into pillow covers, I think was somewhat of a success. I do think this style is definitely worth it. Pay a little bit more for a random accent pillow, and then you can get something that looks really different and really unique and can really make a space and transform things. They are a little bit more pricey, but hey, I think it's worth it when you want one of a kind vintage items like that. I am still really curious about what those little hair type things are and my brother-in-law is actually Turkish from Turkey so I'm gonna have to ask him apparently he was saying he was like from an area that makes those types of rugs so maybe he will know fingers crossed but yeah this was a really fun video for me I'm really glad that I got those pillows and I tested it out because it's been on my mind and also now I will know if I wanted to order a rug that's vintage from Turkey maybe this is kind of the type of style and quality that I would end up with I really enjoy buying from these independent sellers on Etsy so if there's any other video ideas or things you wanted to try out from Etsy but haven't yet bit the bullet but you want me to try let me know in a comment and maybe I can factor that in and maybe it's something new that I will also want once I see it so hey hey maybe it will work out either way either way you guys thank you so much for watching this has been super fun and I'll see you next week bye love you